number five, Kevin Knox. He is the most influential, I think, of the freshman A class. Three ball from Kevin Knox. Oh, he's got great score to give him. Knox finishes again. Look at the balance by Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox has been spectacular. Kevin Knox has one of the most impressive physical profiles in this draft at 6'9", 215 pounds with a nine foot standing reach. Loves to get out in the open court, can finish above the rim in space off one foot, off two feet, long strides to the rim. Now he's not a freak athlete by any means, but he has some untapped athletic potential given his age. Here goes coast to coast, really mobile for a player his size, and then uses that nine foot standing reach to finish above the rim in lob situations. Impressive poster dunk here. What makes Knox so intriguing at 6'9", 18 years old, is his versatile scoring attack. He adds value in spot-up situations because he's a really smooth catch-and-shoot player. Made 1.9 threes per 40 minutes as a freshman. Impressive shot prep, can catch it on the hop. Ball comes out really cleanly with nice rotation and is also capable of shooting on the move a little bit in spot up situations. Here fades to that deep corner and gets his feet set quickly and then does a nice job of attacking closeouts, long strides, gets to the front of the rim and only one dribble and he should benefit from NBA spacing, playing mostly small ball four at the next level. Spent a lot of his time at the three with Kentucky, less than ideal spacing, should look more explosive in the NBA. Knox also very comfortable sprinting off screens. Kentucky used him in a variety of actions. Here does a great job of reading his defender, fades to that deep corner, gets his feet set quickly, and the ball comes out really cleanly. Also able to curl screens, plant right, left, rise into that mid-range jumper. The hope is he'll be able to extend that to NBA three, and then he can step into one dribble pull-ups when he's run off his spots. Really dynamic shooter on the move. Also uses that strong, long first step to get to the rim in a straight line. Then lastly, does a great job of getting to these floaters and touch shots after curling screens. It's not the most efficient shot in the NBA, but Knox has great touch on these two foot floaters and doesn't need many dribbles to get going offensively. The majority of Knox's offense came playing off the ball, but he showed impressive flashes as a perimeter shot creator, here playing at different speeds and rising into that pick and roll pull up. Then he's shown the ability to play playoff hang dribbles, rising into this pull-up three, was really more of an athlete at the high school level early on in his high school years, but he's done a great job of improving his skill set. Again, isolation, one dribble pull-up, his ability to shoot over the top of the defenders gives him impressive potential as a shot creator, and then has the size to get to jump hooks in the post as well, will be able to punish switches as he continues to get stronger. Knox had his struggles as a perimeter defender during his freshman season, but that's really who he was when he was younger, more of an energy guy, defended multiple positions. Here does a great job of keeping Javon Carter in front. He has a positional length to be a very good space defender, especially in switch situations. Now he's not the most physical guy. He can stand to get tougher and a little more fluid in his hips, but not a lot of six foot nine guys with a nine foot standing reach with the agility that he has. Even when he does get beat off the dribble, he does a great job of using that reach to make things difficult at the rim. Again, he can improve his attention to detail, not the best off ball defender, not overly physical, but he certainly has the agility, mobility, and length to become a very good, versatile NBA defender. Knox, very skilled for his size and age, but not the most efficient shot creator, can stand to improve as a ball handler, plays the game a little bit high, and loves to settle for long twos. Doesn't get downhill all that often, especially in pick and roll. Here has a small defending him, should be able to get downhill, 
put pressure on that big man defender. Instead, he settles, and his handle's just not all that clean. Dribbles the ball off his foot with regularity. Needs to find a way to add more to his live dribble game to become that primary shot creator that he's shown potential that he can be. He's very right-handed as well. You can see how high and loose his handle gets trying to attack in a straight line here going left. And also, not the most comfortable finisher in traffic. He tends to rely on these tough two-foot floaters. Needs to do a better job of initiating contact around the rim and finding more efficient ways to score. There are question marks about Knox's ability to make his teammates better. Not the most natural playmaker in the half court. Didn't have great spacing at Kentucky, but too often missed open kickouts. Barreled into help side defenders. Finished his freshman season with 53 assists and 85 turnovers. Lives off tough Kentucky tested jump shots and floaters in the paint needs to find more ways to impact the game positively when those shots aren't falling. And he also tends to get a little bit lackadaisical with his passes, fades in and out of games far too often, tends to lose his confidence fairly easily. He's going to have to play more complete games over the course of an 82 game season. Knox's biggest question mark came on the defensive end of the floor, particularly in terms of toughness, physicality, and effort. Got beat off the dribble far more than he should during his freshman season. Plays the game a little bit upright defensively, not all that fluid in the hips. Doesn't play with active feet or hands. Here has his hands by his side and gets a pass lasered over the top of his head. Leads to a wide open layup. Doesn't show great energy on closeouts. Here, very low effort play. Gets beat going middle and then doesn't help sinking inside of that big Big, gives up a wide open layup just not the toughest defender either does a nice job of keeping Schofield in front here but gets blasted on his way to the rim now he's gonna get stronger as he gets older still only 18 years old but just doesn't play with all that much grit or toughness not a great post defender either he's gonna be asked to play a fair amount of four in the NBA but there are questions about his ability to hold up on the interior then not a great help side defender either here completely leaves the ball in pick and roll throws his hands in the air blaming his teammate averaged only one steal and 0.3 blocks per 40 minutes here doesn't help on the cross screen at all and then a very soft contest at the rim lastly not the most rugged rebounder light in the lower body skinny thighs and ankles averaged only 6.7 rebounds per 40 minutes a very low number given his physical tools we're here in Colorado Springs with Kevin Knox at the Under-17 World Championship. The 2017 McDonald's All-American Game. I, I was so impressed with his size, his length. Knox knocks it down. Knox, wow, what a finish. Kevin Knox is arguably the most intriguing combo forward prospect in this draft at 18 years old with an impressive physical profile, a versatile scoring attack, and defensive potential. Whether it's a catch and shoot jumper, quick action pull up or two foot floater, he doesn't need many dribbles to score and should thrive with NBA spacing at the small ball forward spot. Knox certainly has some questions to answer about his defensive toughness, physicality on the glass, sometimes passive nature and ability to make others better, but he checks most boxes NBA teams are looking for in a young combo forward.